Hey everybody, Old Guy Gamer here. We're back in the Flight Design CTSL. I uh, have the same dilemma almost every time I record this game. I want to keep it a surprise where I'm flying to, but I know that eventually I'm going to have to put on the YouTube title of the video where I'm going to draw people to the video. So everyone knows I'm going to Holcomb, Kansas. Right now we are in Garden City. We're at the Garden City Regional Airport. Uh, let's get in the air, we'll talk some more. So the Garden City Airport is basically to the southeast of Garden City. You can kind of see it over there a little bit already. You know what, let's just stick around this altitude. Let's not go. Let's actually even put a little bit more flap in there so we can... Alright, let's not take all our speed away. Come on. That's not the road we're looking for. We're looking for the road over here. <laughs> There's uh, agricultural plots here, the two dark circles, and then the big white, not green circle, the tan circle. Looks like Mickey Mouse. That was my, <laughs> that's my uh, predominant feature that I'm looking for. This uh, Route 400, Route 50, whatever it's called. It's just on the north end of the Mickey Mouse ears. That's what we're looking for. That's the road that goes west into Garden City. So we're flying northwest, we'll turn west here in just a second. Fly through Garden City before we continue west and hit Hilcom. Flying super slow today. This Route 400 seems to be a pretty big road. Um, Holcomb, Kansas, which is what we're headed to, and Garden City, which is what we're kind of looking at now. They are kind of, I don't want to say in the middle of nowhere, that's kind of like a, that's like rude to say to the people that are from there, but there are no interstates really close to here. You know, I-40 uh, goes east and west to the south of here. I-70 goes uh, east and west to the north of here. Let me just make sure I'm right. Yeah. Whew. Okay. Got it right. I-70 is to the north. I-40 is to the south. Let's uh, dip down a little bit here. Let's put the nose towards the ground a little bit. So we can lose a little bit of altitude before we start heading over the city we want to see. So you might be asking yourself, why is Holcomb, Kansas the, the area we're headed to today? Well, Holcomb, Kansas is really only known for one thing that I know of. So I'm just going to go check it out and see if I can see what I want to see on this game. And I just want to see what it looks like. We'll talk about it when we get there. This is Garden City, Kansas. My goodness, this plane just does not want to stay with his nose to the ground. Keep his nose down a little. So this Route 400 should curve to the north up here on the east side of the city. You know what I should do is, I should zoom in so I can actually see what I'm looking at here. Why don't we make that curve? See what's out here. We're 
gonna do it kind of by ear. I didn't really look up any of this stuff before I jumped in the plane. So let's see if we can find stuff on the fly, so to speak. Okay. So there's the big interchange. There's the interchange we're about 400 curves to the north. We're just gonna follow that to the north. He says there's a Loves right there. I've always known Loves to be uh, truck stops. It says Loves Country Store. I wonder how much of a need there is for truck stops out here. The Brock Busters football field. What is that? Well, we gotta go look at that. Buster's football field. There's the Garden City Community College. There's Garden City Community College right there, just on the other side of the baseball field. The second community college I found on a map when I've been flying around. But of course, I'm not a good enough pilot. This, what do I call it? The Bronk Busters football field. That is right there. I don't know what that is. Someone leave a comment. Tell me. I thought it would be next to a high school or something, but there's just a football field right there. For what reason, I don't know. Is that a semi-pro team? You know what? The map is showing the Brockbusters bookstore just to the west of the field. So maybe that's the name of the community college mascot, the Brockbusters. Pretty cool. Let's keep looking around. Let me pull on this trim wheel back a little bit. Then we'll keep flying up Route 400. Let's see if we can see the Home Depot over here on the right. That must be the Home Depot. And... I am already getting confused. That was the Home Depot. What is this? The Garden City High School Sugar Beet. The Garden City High School Sugar Beet? It's called the Buffaloes on the field. They changed their name. All right, what are they currently? Are they currently the Sugar Beets or are they currently the Buffaloes? All right, Route 400 turns to the west here again. We're just following the road, seeing what we see. Headed over here. Oh man, when I flew up to Mississippi, I was calling out little businesses along the way. I haven't really been calling out little businesses along this way. No one that I've called out for a small business in one of my videos has ever responded to the video. So. I don't know, should I keep trying until someone does? Let's see. Man, this plane is... What is that? Route 80, Business 83 coming up, looks like. And then just on the other side of that. See if we can find it. The plane sounds a little different today. Got a lot of flaps in. I've normally been flying with flaps deployed. But it sounds a little different today. That looks
looks like business route 83, right? And then there's the big empty field, another big empty field. KBUF FM Garden City. Where is that radio station? It's got to be right here. See if we can see the shadow of the tower. This, the game's probably not smart enough to put a FM tower in the game, but maybe they put the shadow of the tower. If you can see it on big maps, I wonder if we're flying over it. Should be right there. I just didn't see it. All right, we're going to turn around and go back because I'm not satisfied with that pass by. There's the half curve to the circle. So this little field we're flying over, it's like a half circle. That's pretty distinctive. Unless there's more than one of them. Oh yeah, there is more than one of them. There's one over by American Warrior, and then there's one by the FM radio station. Let's go see if we can figure out which one's which. This is Garden City, Kansas. There's the RV park. All right, that's distinctive. Now we know about where we're at. There's the RV park. There's the circle. So the FM station is right above this circle field right here. This one that has the line going through it and then not, not right through the center. So let's look around here. The FM station on the Google map says it's right around here. Mike's RV repair and parts. And then the FM radio station, where is KBUF? for a shadow. I don't see the tower shadow. Oh man, I'm not going to be able to see it on the second pass. Alright, well there's Western Hydro. At least they can see themselves on Flight Sim 2020. Alright, well let's keep flying west. Everyone that's local knows where I'm headed probably. pop culture reference in Holcomb, Kansas. Oh, there's the red ponds and red fields. What is that on the north side of 400? What's well, a U.S. Route 400? Now it's showing up on the map. What are these red ponds over here? Holcomb in the distance. Now let's see if I've looked at the map enough in my investigation this week to recognize which roads are which. We'll uh, try and fly over Holcomb High School. It's funny when you're looking at these crops, the crop circles. It's not like the alien crop circles. I'm just talking about these circles where they do the irrigation. You can actually look at Google Earth images and see which parts of the circle are wet and which ones are drying based on the satellite photo. That's pretty cool. All right, there is. 
is Holcomb. Let's see, we're going to have the high school, the middle school, the First Baptist Church, and another Love's Travel Stop. Let's see if we can find those. Then we'll zoom in and start calling them out. Well, you know what? I wasn't planning on flying over it, but there's the Tyson plant way over there, just over the nose in the distance to the west. All right, let's see if Holcomb High School has the name of their team on the field. Sparta, Illinois didn't make their, their video didn't make the cut for YouTube because their name wasn't on the field. I know they're called the Bulldogs over there in Sparta, Illinois, but their name wasn't on the field. They're the only ones who didn't have their name on the field so far of all the flybys I've done. Let's see if Holcomb High School does any better. There's the high school with the middle school sitting behind it. There's the field. Oh, there's no name. Well, we'll figure it out by the time we, uh, by the time we edit the video and all that, we'll figure out the high school name. We'll leave a hashtag so maybe they can find their high school on YouTube. But, well, the Microsoft Flight Sim 2020 version of their high school on YouTube. Come on, guys, get your name of your mascot on the field. It's the 21st century. All right, let's uh, continue south. Old US 50. Curves a little to the right. No, correction to the east. Actually, the thing I was going to look at is right over here. There it is. So right over here is what we came to see. There's the clutter farm. Um, the family was murdered back in the day and Truman Capote wrote a book called In Cold Blood. That is the clutter property. Nine acres. It's actually, according to the property line map I looked at, it's not in the town of Holcomb. It's just outside the corporate limits. This town of Holcomb kind of goes around that property. I saw an article that said it was going to be put on the market in 2019. So I went and looked for his records and never could find where it hit the market and sold. So I don't know if it was ever actually put on the market, but I couldn't find a record of it ever changing hands. There's the Holcomb swimming pool. Let's see if there's anything else of note over here. Mostly houses to the east. I remember reading In Cold Blood a long time ago. I don't think I ever read it in high school. I read it after high school as an adult. But I was fascinated by the book. And when I was doing some investigating for this video, I found some interviews on YouTube of the prosecuting attorney who was in charge of that case. And he was saying that he didn't like the book. He didn't like Capote personality conflicts or whatever. He said he didn't like him that much. I forget Capote's girlfriend's name at the time. Ah, it's escaping my memory, but he said that the, the prosecuting attorney said that she did most of the note-taking and most of the footwork. Truman Capote was just there to... He was like the celebrity of the investigation team. Well, I shouldn't say investigation team. When he was investigating his book... Capote's girlfriend did most of the, the, the work. Capote was just there. Doing a lot of partying, supposedly. And according to this prosecuting attorney, I wish I could remember his name. Uh, do a Google search, you'll find it. Uh, he said that the uh, detective that Capote named as the hero of the case that solved it all was not really the guy who solved it. Uh, the, the guy that was named in the book as the hero of the case, the one who solved it, was really just the one who partied the most with Capote. The one who was actually the hero of the case was uh, another guy that did all the legwork and basically ran the investigation but never got his name put out there. And here I am, I can't remember either of their names. But do your own search in Cold Blood. 
Holcomb, Kansas, Jimmy Capote. See if you can find that video of that prosecutor who did an interview. Uh, it's pretty fascinating stuff. It's some good stories to tell about the investigation. The whole idea that two idiots, well, the one idiot can sit in jail and get an idea of this rich farmer in Kansas that has a safe full of cash in his basement, go out there and kill a whole family for no other reason than the rumor that there might be cash in the basement. I want to say they left the property after killing the family with nothing. I don't think they got anything from there. But they killed the family so they wouldn't be witnesses against them. And I guess the boots were a big deal. The uh, There was a boot print left on a mattress or a bedspread or something. And the mattress, the boot print on the mattress was what gave the killers away, tied them to the scene. They were known for passing bad checks all over the region. So they were kind of wanted for that anyway. So when they found the two guys for the bad checks, and they still had the boots on that they wore during the killing, well, the one guy had the same boots on that he wore during the killing, they were able to tie him to the scene, and then they used one guy's testimony against the other. And some good detective work out there with the investigations, with the interviews to get the, uh, the prosecution complete out there. Bring a little bit of justice to the fam family, the Clutter family. And is that the cemetery? There's the Valley View Cemetery in Garden City. That's the cemetery in Garden City where the Clutter family was buried. I thought I remembered seeing a map a long time ago of exactly where their burial plots were. Um, there's a GPS, there's a website that points it out as being the uh, kind of northwest corner of the cemetery. I'm not so sure about that. Um, someone can let me know if they know for sure. There's pictures of the burial markers, but I don't know where exactly it's at in the cemetery. Well, this is the small town that was the setting for the Truman Capote novel, in cold, in cold Blood. And this is the neighboring city, the bigger city, Garden City. So if you saw your house, leave me a, te leave me a message, let me know. If you think there's something here that I missed, also let me know. I want to know if I missed anything in your town. started flying around. I wasn't really paying attention. I don't know what school that is. I don't want to guess. Oh, you know what? That must be Ken Kenneth Henderson Middle School. Henderson Middle School we just passed. That's what it was. Alright, guys. That's Kansas for you. Not a lot to see, but you know what? Maybe it'll pique someone's curiosity. Go and do a Google search and remember to. Hey, you read that book in high school? Go back and refamiliarize yourself with the story. It's a good story. And there's some cool little tidbits out there with the videos and websites that are out there now devoted to that story. So go check it out. Otherwise, um, give me a like or a subscription. Hang out on the channel, see where we fly to next. I had somebody ask me to go to Machu Picchu. I don't know how I feel about flying in altitudes that high. I don't know how this plane would do in the air that thin. Let me know what you'd like to see next. Maybe I'll choose your town to fly over. Maybe there'll be some place in the world that you haven't seen of uh, Microsoft Flight Sim yet. Maybe I'll choose your location to go fly over next. So stay tuned. And I'll see you back here next time. This is Guy Gamer. Bye. Oh, 
it just finished. Perfect timing. Oh, there's that. I can't hear you say what? Oh. You know the movie in Cold Blood, or the book in Cold Blood? Yeah, this is the town. So I went and flew over the guy's house. They were all murdered. And then I flew back and looked at the cemetery. Just to show people where I was. Huh? You are? Okay. Um, it's 37 minutes, but that's from the time I turned.
What's up? You can tell because his little X means stop. And when he does this, he's, you're getting close, getting close, getting close, and stop. I don't know much, but I know that. Okay, so now let's... See, it should tell me to. What is that? Oh, that's the air brake, I guess. Choke. Something else? I guess it wants me to turn everything off. Okay. It's, I'm forgetting something. It's just a matter of what is it. No intentional spins. See, it, it's supposed to end the game and go back to my flight screen, but... I don't know why it's not. Oh. So can anybody tell me why the game won't end when I come back and park at the ramp? Um, the ignition is off. Uh, the battery and the generator are off. All the switches are off. What am I forgetting? The parking brake is set. I've even got the uh, throttle all the way down. I've got the fuel cutoff is all the way off. What am I forgetting? Why won't Microsoft end the flight for me? Someone let me know in the comments. Thanks. I'll see you next time.